first, I just want to start with thanking my colleague, Senator Street. You know, we've, we've, been doing a, we've been doing a couple of these around North Philly, bringing back millions of dollars from the Commonwealth right back to North Philly. And I'll tell you, I learned this in the legislature. You learn this very quickly when you get into the legislature. Turns out you can't do nothing by yourself. <laughs> Even if you want an amendment move, you need, at least need a second. And so I'm really excited to have a partner in North Philly um, who's worked with me every step of the way, not only support this, but to support a variety of other projects um, around North Philadelphia. So thank you, Senator, and thank your team. I also just want to say, you know, Xavier said that here at Be Well, you're in the behavioral health business, you're in the drug, substance abuse treatment business. I want to say that I think you're in the saving lives business. You're in the saving lives business. And this is just another little monicum of support to help you do that. There was an article recently that I'm sure many of you read uh, talking about the fact that as we talk about opioid and substance abuse issues, that there's been a lot of focus on certain parts of our city that certainly need help and need support, but that people have been missing North Philadelphia, missing what's happening here in North Philadelphia. But Be Well has never been missing North Philadelphia. You all have been here through good times, through bad times, through ups and through downs, really delivering needed services for people who are in a tough spot. And for people who, frankly, want to get on the other side of that hill, not just for themselves, not just for their families, but to be an example, to be a real example. And if you know somebody in your family, if you yourself are on the other side of that hill, you know what it means for people to be able to see you and to see you doing what you can do so well, being a family guy or gal, having a good family supporting job, and what that does for all of our communities. We know the real continued need for behavioral health, mental health, substance abuse services. We all know. We have to look at what we can do going back to Harrisburg, and we were just talking about this a minute ago, to do everything we can to drive more resources to programs like this here in North Philly, across Philadelphia, across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We have a lot of work to do, and I'm excited to be able to do it with partners who, as the Senator said, don't do this because there's a paycheck attached to it, but you do it because there's a calling on your life to care for people in some of the toughest moments that they'll find themselves or that their family could find themselves in. So thank you. Thank you. Because I know you don't get a holiday necessarily. You got to work. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, you got to work. <laughs> and so thank you for the work that you do. Thank you for never uh, getting weary and well-doing. And we're going to be here every step of the way uh, to back you up. And so to Xavier, to Jerry, to every single person who works on every single floor of this facility, thank you. God bless you. And I hope that these funds um, help to expand the scope of services and the reach um, that you'll have in helping our communities actually be well, be prosperous, and be on a path where people can feel good. So thank you so much, and we appreciate it.